Welcome back to Breakfast. Heavy rain overnight has caused havoc in Otago where roads have closed and river levels have the authorities on high alert. In Waitaki alone, some rural roads have been closed and motorists have been advised not to drive unless it's vital. So for the latest from the area which is sodden from two weeks of rain, we're joined on the phone from Mike, by Mike, Mike Goldsmith from the Otago Regional Council. Uh, good morning Mike, welcome to Breakfast. How's the situation looking down there? Oh, good morning. Um, it's actually, uh, the rain has certainly dropped away uh, in the last few hours, since about midnight. And uh, it's just a sort of a, a light drizzle at the moment, and it's, uh, it's reasonably warm. Right, that's got to be good news. It's been raining for two weeks, though. You've had quite a dry winter up until this point, and then two weeks of heavy, pouring, continuous rain. That's got to do some damage. Yeah, it's been, it's, it's been really uh, persistent, I guess. That's right, over the last couple of weeks. And uh, we've had some, I guess, some nice uh, sunny Dunedin days thrown in there as well. But uh, yeah, certainly things are really saturated, and uh, just that um, sort of slightly heavier than normal rainfall last night has uh, been enough to push some of these rivers up to quite high levels. Right. Tell us about the river situation. Uh, you've got an alarm system, yeah? That, that's correct. Yeah. Basically, when the uh, rivers uh, go through certain tr uh, trigger points, uh, that just means that basically that's a warning for for us and for also for uh, for residents to to move stock and just to be aware, I guess, that uh, the river's higher than normal. Right. You're also having problems when it comes to slips as well, because with all of this rainfall, you get mudslides and you get slips and people... Uh, have you had any people that have need to be evacuated? Um, yeah, I guess that's really... Uh, that's something that the, uh, the City Council and the District Council, sort of, they, they look after that side of things, but we, uh, we help to inform them, I suppose, with, uh, giving them information about what's, what's happening in terms of rivers and rainfall. Right. This yeah, is... That certainly has been uh, the case, I'm aware. As far as I'm aware. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how are the farmers taking this? How's it looking from their point of view? Yeah, they probably had about enough, I'd imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've um, yeah talking to um, several farmers sort of overnight, and um, yeah, but they're, they're well aware of the situation, and they've been able to you know move stock to higher ground in, in most cases. So yeah, hopefully they're dealing with it quite quite well. What can you tell us about all of the roads that are closed? Are they still? Is it still that drastic? There's about 29, I thought, as of last night. Is it still the case? Right, yeah, I, I'm not too sure about that, but as I, yeah, I, I, last I checked, that uh, certainly in North Otago there were quite a few roads closed, and uh, the Dunedin area has been affected as well. Um, the good thing, I guess, as I say, it's the rain has, uh, has certainly dropped off, and uh, the rivers are dropping away, and you'd expect any of that surface flooding that might be on roads is also going to be uh, improving during the morning. Right, have you, um, have you pulled all of the resources in for this particular event? Yeah, yeah, we've got a really good, strong team at the Regional Council and um, yeah, uh, so I'm backed up by a whole team of people who are providing me with information and uh, yeah, we, as I say, we're com uh, in communication with the districts and the City Council uh, on a regular basis. Okay, if people have got any information, what's the website that they go to regarding all of the roads that you've got uh, uh, closed? Um, in terms of, uh, well certainly for rivers and rainfall, the, re uh, the Targa Regional Council, which is www.org.govt. Uh, and but the, the Dunedin City Council website uh, or the Waitaki District website will uh, have some information about uh, about roads and road closures as well. Okay, all yeah. good. Thank you for that, Mike Goldsmith, hey, no Judy way. Flood Manager from the Otago Regional Council. Oh, you've got a feel for them. You totally do. Bit of a glimmer of hope there with the rains easing, but yep. but huge amount of water just falling from the sky in such well, a short space it. of time. I mean, the rain's easing, but now is clean-up mode for them. Yeah. And that's got to be... Nice. We heard rumbling and glass breaking, and I thought it was something coming down this side, but when we investigated, we noticed it was the back of our property, the hill has slid into the back of our property. So it came through the French doors and the bathroom window, it spilled the house. By 1.30 the police and the assessor was here, the engineer was here, and they told us to get out. So we've been at the neighbours, and it's got worse ever since. We managed to get in today, get some clothing, but that was it, and some pictures off the wall, but nothing else. And the mud is now sort of kitchen bench height throughout the entire house.